number one in setting up a classroom. Bring help. Are you ready to see the chaos? Here she is in all her glory. So much stuff. Just every table. You know what though? It looks no different than last year. I mean, as far as stuff goes. Welcome back. Today we are in the new classroom, setting it up. Yesterday we were here, we did so many things, but basically everything from my old classroom was moved over here. My dad pulled his truck in and we loaded it up and drove it over. Um, so it is a war zone. It looks like a bomb went off. And the only thing we started yesterday is this wall over here, which I'll show you in a second. And today we're gonna finish that wall and hopefully get up a couple bulletin boards and then, um, I don't know how much energy we'll have after that. I pretty much have to take everything apart to be able to put it back together. But I'll show you what we did yesterday. So I got these rolls, these wood paper rolls from Michaels. Um, they're originally $9.99 a roll, but they were on sale for $5.99 plus 40% off the whole um, purchase plus my teacher discount. So I ended up getting a bunch of rolls for only like 10 bucks, which is awesome. Here's the, the label, Fadeless Weathered Wood Paper. So this is what we did. So I had a vision of covering this whole wall in the wood paper and so far so good. So um, this was the only little problem was the clock because it can't come off the wall and then we're gonna, just going to kind of have to piecemeal it along the wall and that's what we're going to work on right now. So stay tuned. Done. Any last words? A. <laughs> that was not as easy as we thought it was going to be. But I think it looks so good. It's very warm and cozy. Get your butt up there and cut it up the stairs. Okay. 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 okay, so that was the big thing that we wanted to finish today. I'm still trying to figure out where I want to put things on which walls, but now that that's done, I have a better vision. We are going to put up one more bulletin board before we tackle anything else. It's really hard because I just have a bunch of crud everywhere, so I literally have to rip everything out, make more piles before I can put it back together. Does that make sense? Okay, so right now we're going to put, I'm going to do my student display work board right here. So I have bulletin board paper. I think we're just going to put that up, trim and then leave that for now. So, wish us luck.
My camera died and it'll probably die here again, but we got the blue paper up. Super easy. I don't know if I'm loving the color just yet, but um, I'm gonna do a burlap like squishy, I don't know, what do you call it? I don't know, like a textured burlap um, border like I did in my classroom last time. And a lot of you asked how I did it, so I'll show you if my camera doesn't die. Okay, so basically I just have strips of burlap and all I'll do is staple it, squish it together, staple it again, squish it together, squish it together, and just keep stapling. And you'll see what it'll look like. So there's really no rhyme or reason as to how I bend and fold. So I'll show you. So it just ends up looking kind of like this. And it looks silly now, but once it's all done, it really makes it look nice. My mom says it tones down the brightness of the blue, so we'll see. Sorry, my camera sucks and it keeps dying, but this is the finished product. I think my mom was right, it does tone it down a lot. I should mention too, all that burlap is recycled from last year. I used it on a bulletin board last year. And the burlap came from Hobby Lobby. I can't tell you how much it was per roll. And I think I got like four rolls. I don't know. And the blue paper, it's fadeless paper from Michaels. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of their book bins, these beloved Dollar Tree book bins, along here. Here. And then it only fits about like 21. And then I'll come down here and put the rest right there. Woohoo! And so what I've asked my mom to do at the moment is, these are all the leveled texts from the last third grade teacher. So she's taking all these uh, leveled readers out of these book bins because these are the previous teachers and she's moving into just these beige book bins that I will make cuter labels for. And then eventually I'm going to be moving all of the leveled readers in that bookcase because that's where I'm going to have my guided reading area and that way I can just pull from there. I did not have any of these last year. Because this teacher moved to kindergarten, I was able to snag these, which I am really excited for. So we were going to go get food and then come back and then I was looking around and I was realizing that a lot of this stuff is just stuff that I need to go through. So tomorrow she can't come in. So I'm going to come in and go through all my books. There's a ton of books um, that are were left by the third grade teacher um, that moved. So I'm going to offer them to the new teacher that we hired. She's a first year teacher I think so um, hopefully she'll want those. And then I can start figuring out where stuff goes. And I need to print and create more things for the walls. So I don't really need any more hands for today. So we're going to get out of here and then I'll bring you tomorrow. And you can watch me go through all my crap. I think instead of doing one big long classroom setup vlog, I'll probably just break it up by day. Some might be really short, some might be longer, but it'll be easier for me. Hopefully more enjoyable for you. So then I'm going to end this one here since we're leaving. Um, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button so you don't miss any of the other videos. And I will see you on day two. Bye-bye. Say bye, mom. Bye. <laughs>